You know, if you look back at the history of communication, it was, you know, over 500 years between Gutenberg and anything new in terms of how, you know, mass communication happened. And then we get to the internet age, and now every five years, things are fundamentally changing. Before, you had a one-way story experience. The producer sent the story to you, you consumed it. Today, you have to build a story that people are actually going to interact with. But it's not just, you know, me up in the pedestal telling you, the people, the story. The stories are, are crowdsourced. That's something that hasn't really been possible until pretty recently. And that kind of thing is just becoming more and more common now. Now, everybody, in a sense, is their own media empire. You could broadcast to a, a worldwide audience, and you could do it from a device like this. The students will be focusing on you know, different emerging technologies, where they are, that they see, and, and seeing opportunities for engaging uh, communities uh, around information using those technologies. A student who's taking the journalism innovation track will acquire skills that will allow them to take their editorial vision and hopefully translate it to any type of platform that exists today or will exist in the future. They're increasingly also getting jobs at Google, at uh, you know, Yahoo, Tumblr. Some are even creating their own companies, you know, starting things while they're here and then they're getting funded. What's really exciting about this period of journalism is that students are defining it as much as professionals in the industry. When you're working as a student, you can make bigger leaps than in industry because you're not thinking about, is this monetizable? Is this uh, going to lead to a sustainable business model? It's really a period for experimentation. Welcome to Communications at Syracuse. Welcome to Communications at Syracuse.